Hey, thank you for joining me in my chemistry lab, uh, my kitchen. And this video is more so for the teachers out there, more so than the students. Um, I want to show you how I set up my counting by weighing lab that I do with my students. Um, the idea behind counting by weighing, of course, is that um, we can't handle individual atoms and molecules. So instead, we lump them into groups. And when we have the mass of that group, we can do some math and figure out how many atoms are in that group or what the mass of just one of those items is. The idea behind this lab is that I am going to give my students bundles of objects, but they can't see the objects. So because we're in my kitchen, we're just going to do this with some food things. Although you could do this with paper clips. Um, I've done it with crayons magic markers, anything that you have multiples of in your classroom will work just fine. You just need those things to be mostly uniform in size. The first thing you'll need to do is determine what the size of your bundle is going to be. I don't like to choose the number 10 because it's a little too easy for the kids in terms of math. Um, I prefer to use 12 or six or eight. If you wanna get crazy, you can use seven and nine odd numbers make things a little bit more difficult, but not too bad. Um, so you're going to decide on the number of objects that are going to be in your bundle. And I suggest you call them like your last name. So like Smith bundles, perhaps. What you're going to do is take beakers and paper towels to like hide your bundles of objects. Or you can put your bundles of objects in like plastic shopping bags or even paper lunch bags. Now I have a jar of peanuts and I'm gonna use my regular kitchenware because I don't wanna throw these out, I wanna eat them. Uh, but the idea here is that we are going to, let's say our bundle is eight objects. So I'm gonna take eight peanuts. And of course peanuts are not a great example because some of them come in holes and others come in halves. Um, so not great. Cheerios works fine. Um, pebbles, really anything. So I'm going to take these and count them into this glass. I'm just holding it silly so that you can actually see what's going on here. Um, whoop, two, four, six, whoop, eight. Okay. So that I would label this as one bundle of peanuts, but I'm going to hide them so the kids cannot see them. Um, as this isn't the best way to do it, but maybe like put the peanuts in the paper towel, wrap them up. Um, you could do this with beakers and your junky brown school paper towels, or you could do this, like I said, with um, paper bags. I've even found that like plastic shopping bags from Walmart work just fine. So you're going to hide all of this and put it in the beaker. You're, if you use beakers, or plastic shopping bags or whatever. You have to tell the kids the mass of that thing so that they don't have to handle it. Um, but what's gonna happen is you would label this one bundle of peanuts so that you know they'll do some math and know that there's eight peanuts in this jar. And then tell them the mass of the beaker. They count how many are in there by weighing it. You can do this in any quantity of bundles. You can use whole numbers or even decimals. So like five and a half bundles of peanuts five and a half times eight would give us 44 peanuts. So they'd have to do some math there to count them. That just is using like the mole concept, five and a half moles of whatever is how many atoms, right? But we can also do this where they have an established mass for your peanuts. So if one bundle of peanuts comes out to, let's just say for the sake of math, 20 grams, then you can have another sample of peanuts and say that this is peanuts. End of discussion. They'll go, they'll find the mass of the peanuts without being able to see them, and then they'll tell you how many peanuts are in the jar using prior knowledge. So if we said that this was um, 100 grams of peanuts, then they know that that's five bundles of peanuts, and then they would be able to tell me there's five bundles, each eight peanuts a piece. So there's 40 peanuts in that jar. That's a hundred grams of peanuts. You kind of get what I'm saying here. So that's the idea. Um, again, you can do this with anything that you have in your classroom. It is a lot of fun for the kids. It really helps to solidify the mole concept, even before they learn what a mole is. I like to do this before, like the very first day of my stoichiometry unit, kind of to get them um, 
to see where I'm going with the mole because that number is just so big it's hard to wrap our brains around. But when they have this kind of inquiry lab as the background for the mole concept, the mole clicks a lot faster. So definitely give this lab a try. Let me know in the comments what materials you used, how it went, what the kids thought, and subscribe so you don't miss the next lesson. Of course, you can email me or leave your questions in the comments below the video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.